Hi, it's Kevin, and welcome back to SciWorks. Today's animal encounter, we're going to talk about corn snakes. Why do you think it's called a corn snake? Do you think it might eat corn? No, I doubt it. Do you think it might shuck corn? Nah, I doubt it. Let's look at the bottom. Looks like Indian corn, doesn't it? This is one of the reasons it's called the corn snake. It's also called the rat snake, the red rat snake. You've got the black rat snake, the yellow rat snake. This is a gray phase red rat snake, otherwise known as a corn snake. Now, if you look at its pattern, it's very similar to some of the venomous snakes, like copperheads especially. Lots of people confuse copperheads with juvenile rat snakes or adult corn snakes. If you look at the pattern, the corn snake's pattern, sort of a blotchy pattern on its back, whereas a copperhead will have an hourglass pattern. Also, the head and their eyes are, are different. If you look at the corn snake's eyes, it has round pupils, whereas the copperhead will have elliptical or cat-like pupils. Being a constrictor, it means it has to lie still and wait on an animal to come within striking distance so that it can grab it with its, with its jaws and immobilize it. Copperheads, on the other hand, have venom glands. They just bite their prey and sit back and wait for the venom to take effect. Both species of snakes are very beneficial because they keep the rodent population in check. If you'd like to learn more about rat snakes, log on to www.siworks.org. Thanks for joining us.